KX Sports with Joey Lamar. Today we had the opening round of the Class A and Class B Volleyball State Tournaments. And we start with Class A and the Mandan Braves. They are the 4C out of the West, and they were looking to pull the upset over Fargo Davies. And Davies is the top C out of the East. Mandan is down one game to none, but Mandan's Morgan Sheldon sends a long attack that just sneaks inside line. But Mandan is still down in the second set. Later, Mandan is still competing hard as Mandan's Aaliyah Clark nails a shot off Davies for the points. The Braves just kept battling back. But the Eagles are the top seed in the East, and they looked like a top seed as Maddie Cooper easily nails this ball right into the floor for the kill. Mandan falls in straight sets, three love. The next match saw Jamestown and Fargo Shanley. Jamestown got into an early hole, but Katie Trumbauer tries to help them dig it out. But Shanley took the first two sets. But Jamestown will keep fighting. What a save from Jamestown's Cameron Silvick. The point ends as Ellie Rolson. She gets the kill. Jamestown takes set three. The fourth set went down to the wire. But Fargo Shanley is able to edge out in front. And Paige McAllister fires the match ceiling kill. Shanley upsets Jamestown with a 3-1 victory. The top seed in the West Century taking on Valley City. In the first set, the Patriots get a great play from Ella Fridley, who notches a kill as Century gets on the board. Later in the same set, Century's Logan Nestle gets the chance, and she nails one off the block, but the Patriots would trail in the first set. But the state champs responded just like we expected them to do. Delaney Clark tallies the ace, and the Patriots take set one. Century moves on 3-0. The Demon is also trying to advance to the semis against West Fargo Cheyenne. In the first set, Bismarck's Macy Wedge slams down the kill. That brought the Demons within two points, 19 to 17. Later on, Bismarck's Emily Stone Cipher. She goes for the kill, and the block attempt by the Mustangs could not stop the points. But Bismarck still trails 20 to 18. Then later, Cheyenne Sidney Smith goes off the Bismarck defender for the kill. The Demons take the loss in this one, three to nothing. So tomorrow, here's a look at the semifinal matchups. Only one West team advances, that is Century. They will face West Fargo Shan at 7 p.m. The first semifinal will be Fargo Davis and Fargo Shanley at 5 p.m. On the Class B side, Dickinson Trinity played in the first match of the day. The Titans look to upset the number two overall seed, our Redeemers. We start in the third set with Dickinson Trinity down two nothing. But Dickinson Trinity tries to make a comeback. A good start here from Amaya Walker. She comes up and spikes the kill. Dickinson Trinity has some momentum. Later in the set, Maya Decker rises off the net and fires that shot, and it bounces off the Knights for the point. Dickinson Trinity would have the lead. But our Redeemers was just too much. A good setup for Macy Limquist, and she drills the ball for the point. Our Redeemers takes this quarterfinal match 3-0. Next, we have Flasher taking on the number three overall seed, Langdon Area Edmore Munich. And Flasher is down one set to none when Century's Cameron all tries to bring the Bulldogs back. She goes two hands for the kill, but Langdon Area wins the second set. Now to the third set, where Flasher trails big. Langdon tries to keep the pressure on, but Lexis Olsen attack is a bit too long, so point to Flasher. But Langdon Area was just too strong. Kaylee Lowry's attack is blocked right back into the net. Langdon Area picks up the win 3 0. And in the 5 p.m. match, Oaks defeats Stanley 3 0. And then Oak Grove defeated the defending state champs Thompson. Semifinals will see our Redeemers in Langdon Area, followed by Oaks and Oak Grove. And out in the NGCA Division II National Chen Tournament, Bismarck State wins two. Okay, they win two. They defeat the five seed in the first matchup. Then they come back and defeat Fort Scott three to one. Wow. So now they are going to the semifinals. What a run for yeah. Bismarck State. Absolutely. Yeah, great, great news. Never been, and now they're in the semis. Very good. Joy, thank, thank you very much. much. Stay tuned.